So this is the Schaumburg NARBC. Think about this show, it's a brand new NARBC show, but think about it like a little mini Tinley. It's still here in the suburbs of Chicago. They're still the greatest vendors that you're ever gonna see at a reptile expo, the coolest reptiles that you're ever gonna see at a reptile expo. You gotta come and check out this expo. And if you can't make it to Chicago to check out this expo, well, I'm gonna show you exactly what is here at Schaumburg NARBC. And because this is an NARBC show, I'm also gonna dole out a whole new batch of Rattle On Awards. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. All right, guys, so we are going to start at one end of this expo. We are going to go to the other end of the expo. And again, I'm gonna show you guys some really amazing stuff, like Catalia. Oh my goodness, it's me. How are you, Catalia? I'm good, how are you, Dave Kaufman? I am good. I remember you from uh, picking you up at the airport at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, that was so much fun, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Do you, you want to do that again? Because you flew American and your flight was delayed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like American. Yeah. I mean, I like Americans. I am American. But, you know. I'm an American, too. Oh. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So, you are going to be our guest judge for the Rattle On Award for the Best Lizard yes, here. Yes, I am. We just got here. So, start looking. I'm going to start looking everywhere. All right. And I am going to show you guys how amazing this expo actually is. Let's get going. Yay! All right, guys, real quick, I want to break into this video to introduce you guys to one of the coolest crested geckos here. Look at this dude. This is a black-eyed leucistic crested gecko. This guy was produced by Brian Burnett at the Bug Plug. Look at this amazing crested gecko. Guys, comment below and let me know what you think about this amazing black-eyed leucistic crested gecko. I think that this is a real game changer. So one of the things that I love about coming to these expos, especially the NARBC expos, is meeting all of you guys. So when you see me walking around, don't be shy. Come up and say hi. I really love meeting all of you. And the other thing that I love the most about coming to these expos is seeing what everybody got here, especially Phil. So what's your name? Maddie. Maddie, all right. And what did you get there, Maddie? Mexican black king snake. That? is a really cool snake. But this snake is really special for you because... It's my first snake. It's your first snake, which is awesome. So, what got you into reptiles? Um, a lot of YouTube videos. I've always loved animals, but going online, I saw so many reptiles and I just fell in love. And I love really it, I love it. For a long time, I wanted one. There's this one uh, YouTuber that I really watch. It's Dave Kaufman, I don't know. Don't no? know him. No, he's, a, he's all right, he's all right. But that snake is just awesome. And for your very first snake, you picked a really good one. <laughs> awesome. Enjoy them. So I just ran into Robert. Robert, tell everybody who you are and what your channel is. I'm Robert's Ride Along, and uh, my channel is a little bit of everything, mostly me being stupid, but I do reptiles, cars, motorcycles, me reading my writing. I am a uh, published author, all that good stuff. I basically, love it. I love it. Basically well, me being stupid. You only have the one channel, though, right? Just the one channel. Those are rookie numbers. you got to get those numbers up. i got to get I'm about up. to launch number four, so uh, yeah. Right. All right, so what did you get here? I got a fire skink, about three to four years old. Beautiful, high red, absolutely gorgeous. I haven't named him yet, but we're working on that. Wow. So we got to come up with a fire name. What's a fire sign? Well, I already like have Like Aries, but Aries. that's my rhino iguana's yeah. name, so yeah. I'll let you use it. I might. We'll think of something really good. Awesome. Well, when I found these in West Africa, it was one of the greatest finds in West Africa, other than the ball pythons, of course. But man, these are just so beautiful and so underrated. So we've got a mother and daughter team here. What's your name? Kennedy. And? Marietta. Good to meet both of you. What have you got? Um, I just got a bearded anole or a Cuban false chameleon. Wow, so you just got a Cuban false chameleon there. I did, yes. And what attracted you to the Cuban false chameleons? I think what's so cool is that like they're like in a knoll, but they have their like eyes just like a chameleon, and that's amazing. I agree, I agree. And mom, what did you get? I got a teeny tiny anole. <laughs> oh Somewhere my god, in From Snake Discovery. That is the teeniest, I've tiniest been, anole ever. I've been eyeing them all morning, and so... I just decided to go back and get him. That is so cool. Well, guys, you have two of the coolest lizards here. Thank Enjoy you. them. Thank Good you meeting well. you guys. Thank you. All right.
Hey guys, what are you talking about over here? Can I be part of your group? No. So when it comes time for the Rattle On Award for the best snake here, there are so many cool snakes, so many cool colubrids, so many cool pythons, so many cool boas here. But check out this amazing Burmese python that I found. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. So I'm at Andrew Campbell Reptiles table here and you know when I look for the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake, you guys all know I love pides and I'm really attracted to pides, but when it comes to retics or ball pythons with pied in it, they really don't hold a candle to what we're doing with Burmese pythons. Have a look at this caramel pied Burmese python. And one of the things that I love about that pied gene with Burmese pythons is it really makes that pattern go really wonky but it really makes the colors in a berm explode but this guy is glow in the dark orange just look at those orange colors look at that wonky pattern absolutely gorgeous snake so when pied burmese pythons first came on the scene they were really expensive. You could either buy a Pied Burmese Python or, well, you could buy a Tesla. So right now, regular Pied Burmese Pythons are getting more and more affordable. But when you stack jeans on top of them, this guy can be yours for only $22,000. All right, so this is Andrew Campbell from Andrew Campbell Reptiles. You're the one who produced this snake. How long have you been working with berms? So I've been working with berms the better part of 10 years now but I really didn't get heavy into the projects until the last five years here. But uh, yeah, it's been a, big, been a big step for me. So I produce these guys from head to head, and uh, like I said, I've never had a pied, I never had a visual pied before. This is my first year. So this is one of my very first pieds in my collection. But you can definitely see why this caramel pied Burmese python is my pick for the July 2023 Schaumburg NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. All right guys, so I am completely geeking out over this crocagator. This is one of the rarest crocs, but this may be the only living specimen I have ever seen yet. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. I want you guys to comment below, let me know what you think this crocodile is. It's one of the most rare crocodiles on the planet. Comment below, let me know what you think this is. So we're gonna have a couple of new categories for the Rattle On Awards, including the best invertebrate. And when it comes to invertebrates, there are tons of arachnids here, tons of other invertebrates, but what I really love, I love the praying mantises. So when it comes to giving away the Rattle On Award for this brand new category of best invertebrates, I couldn't think of a better winner than Luke at Luke's Bug Adventure. So you and I have done the Snake Discovery build-off, you have been in my videos before, you are awesome. But for the winner, You've got something even more awesome, don't you? So these are some of the rarest mantises in the world. Metallicus splendidus. No one else at this expo is going to have this. There, uh, there are only a few people in the U.S. working with them, and there are probably only 20 of them in total in the U.S., maybe even less. So these are the Malaysian bark mantis. So in here we have one adult male, one subadult male, and one subadult female. So down there, the adult male, that's yep. the biggest they get. That's the biggest they get? Yep. Wow, those are awesome. Thank you. So we met when you were nine, now you're 11. Yes. And you were like really into this when you were nine years old. How long have you been breeding and keeping mantises? Well, I've been doing it since I was eight. So I've been doing it for three years and it's a really cool passion. Okay, and so what got you into yes. mantises? Why mantises? Yes, so when I was eight, um, there was, uh, I, I was outside, you know, this is when COVID started and, uh, there, uh, you know, I was staying at home. Uh, I didn't have uh, any friends because of COVID. And um, I found a little mantis outside our house. 
and that little mantis, we, I begged my mom to keep it and we kept it. And then we realized that there are actually tons of other species and that you can actually buy them. So, and that started little, your passion yeah. and now you are the mantis kid. Now, when you eat, do you eat like a mantis or do you eat just like a normal person? You know, it depends. I'm half Indian, so we actually use our fingers to eat sometimes. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah that's so true. I that's guess true, I'd yeah. say, yeah, I do sometimes eat like a mantis. So guys, aside from mantises, last night at the auction, you donated a keelback lizard that people kept bidding on and then re-donating back to USR. Yes. And people bid on that, redonated it. I did that. How much did that little keelback lizard raise for US Ark last night? Twelve thousand dollars last night at the Shelburne auction. Twelve thousand dollars for a keelback lizard donated by Luke to support US Ark. So last night when the reptile community came together to donate this little keelback lizard, redonating and redonating. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just the amount of grace that this reptile community has, and I'm so thankful. Couldn't agree more. Very well said. Thank you. You have an amazing future in this whole industry. But going back to the Rattle On Awards, you can definitely see why Luke at Luke's Bug Adventures and his Malaysian Bark Mantises wins the first ever Rattle On Award for the best invertebrates here. Man, look at this Oregon red-sided garter snake over at the Zirkles. You have some of the coolest stuff. I mean, I just geek out every time I'm at your table, but you know what I really want? What's that? Can I have some of your M&Ms? For this year's judges, we have two guest judges. We have Catalia and Maddie. <laughs> uh, wait. Anyway, all right, so what did you guys pick to be the Rattle On Award winner for the best lizard here at Schaumburg? They have no clue. They are looking at each other. They are silent. They don't have a lizard. Are you guys chewing gum? What's going on? Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know. Let's get out of here. All right, so I'm going to speak for them because they <laughs> still have gum in their mouth. But we are at House of Dragons. Kat and Maddie have found the coolest dragon here to win the Rattle On Award for the best lizard here. Take it away, guys. I'm going to go over here and chew some gum. <laughs> Uh, so this is a very beautiful bearded dragon that me and Maddie found and it is a red monster leatherback and he looks like molten lava to me and his name is Atlas Atlas but seriously this is the like most beautifully colored bearded dragon I think I've ever seen to be honest he's very handsome and he's two and a half years old and he's very chill. Out of all the bearded dragons at this show, he's the coolest because he's so unique. I've never seen a bearded dragon this dark. And dark. he's like, he's not even just like dark. He's just this beautiful, like burnt red color. He's so yeah. pretty. And his eyes too, like his eyes are even like a very dark red. So this is Tony. Tony, you are from House of Dragons. Where are, where's, where are you located? I'm located in New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana. I've got to get down there. But this is, Again, one of the most amazing bearded dragon morphs I've ever seen, that Maddie and Kat have ever seen as well. Tell, talk to me a little bit about its genetics. How did this he, come about? He is a red about? monster bearded dragon. They originated in China. I imported them about three to five years ago. I started bringing them in and uh, just been breeding best with the best ever since then. And they, you get them darker and more solid and uh, bigger and healthier. So and, uh, if somebody is interested in this bearded dragon, how much are they looking at spending? Uh, a baby of like this guy is about eighteen hundred and to twenty five hundred bucks. Twenty five hundred bucks. Depending on how solid it they are and the wow. genetics. That is a, an amazing, amazing lizard. Wow. So that's why this is our pick for the rattle on. I never know how to say that name. I mess it up fifty times every time. <laughs> So this is why this is Kat and Maddie's pick for the July 2023 Schaumburg NARBC Reptile Expo Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. All right, now say it to you three times fast. <laughs> no wonder you can do this.
So there's also another brand new category for the Rattle On Awards. You know, there are so many amazing reptile artists that are emerging that have their incredible and talented artwork displayed at these expos. But when it comes to giving the Rattle On Award for the best reptile artist here, I'm sure if you've been to an NARBC Expo before, you know exactly who the winner is. And that, of course, is Adeline Robinson. So everybody knows your art in the reptile world, and you're working on this incredible painting right here, but I don't know if people really know, like, your story. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that question. People are like, where did this come from? And why, like, why reptile art, even to begin with? Um, I have been keeping animals since I was little. Keeping reptiles were pretty much part of the household, so I had bearded dragons and snakes and all kinds of fun stuff. I had them all throughout high school. I also did artwork on the side, so I would do some animal sketches, but not really reptiles in particular, a lot, a little bit of everything. It's kind of funny because I, I took a job out of state as a graphic designer, thought, you know, it's my grown up job, gonna, gonna head out of the industry and kind of do my thing, and I honestly miss the industry so much that after hours, when I was done with my nine to five, I would spend all night drawing reptiles to get back into awesome. you know the community because yeah. I missed it so much. So uh, it literally just started out with doing a couple commissions for friends. They're like, "Hey, I've got this really cool viper. Would you draw it?" I'm like, "Well, I love drawing, so like, yeah, I might as well get back into it." And uh, it kind of snowballed from there. So I quit my job. And uh, a lot of people thought that was pretty crazy. <laughs> you know, I had a, a salaried graphic design job and I, I just put it to do reptile art full time and I'm, I'm so glad that I did. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so grateful. And now you're doing reptile art full time mm -hmm. as a career. Yes, that, that's where we're at now. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, you. you winning the very first ever Rattle On Award for the best reptile artist is so long overdue. The attention to detail and the photorealism in your art is astounding. This is the painting you're working on now. Look at the eye on this snake. I mean, it's not even done yet. And that is like light years above and beyond a lot of other artists. And this painting is a work in progress. Yes. How long yeah. will it take you to paint a painting like this? Uh, well, initially I was kind of expecting to power through it. I was ha hoping to have it done for the show, but I started on it. And next thing I knew I spent four hours just in this tiny little nose area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so once I started on that, I was like, oh, this is gonna take a lot longer than I, I was expecting, um, just because of the amount of detail that I wanted to get in there. Like, I could power through it if I if I really wanted to, but I want to take my time to, to get it right. But I am always in awe of your talent, always in awe of anybody that can take their passion like you can and turn it into a career. This award is very well deserved. That, that really means the world to me. A lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears goes into this, and I, I just try to do the animals justice. I'm just so amazed and like perpetually just they're my muses. It's it's just incredible what nature comes up with, and the least I can do is try to bring a, attention to them, awareness of these are the amazing animals that we share our world with, and I want people to see the beauty in them. So I, I really appreciate that. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Try. All right, so before we uh, say goodbye. Uh, there's a surprise that's gonna happen with you at the Tinley Park Expo in October. And it involves that lucky ball guy right there. So we will be doing our wedding ceremony at the Tinley Auction right before it all starts. So I'm super excited. We're gonna be able to spend you know that time with so many friends that we've made over 10 years of yeah. an ARBC show. So I'm just super excited to be able to share that day like with everybody. It, it's gonna be amazing and I'm so happy for you and I am so excited to be there. Thank you. It's gonna be awesome. Me too. Tinley, October. So over the years of knowing Adeline, I have been a avid collector of her art. I have her art on the wall of my herp room. I always get new pieces whenever I can. And that's definitely why Adeline Robinson wins the first ever Rattle On Award for the best reptile artist. So guys, again, Schaumburg NARBC is kind of like Chinley Park NARBC Junior. There's amazing reptiles here, amazing reptile vendors, and it's just an all around great time in the middle of summer in between the March Tinley and October Tinley. So if you live in this part of the world, consider coming to the Schaumburg NARBC here in July. It really is an awesome expo and it's just gonna keep getting better and better and better from here. So anyway guys, real quick, I just wanna thank each one of my Patreon supporters. It's with your help that I can continue to bring reptile 
style education to this channel. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter for as little as $3 a month, you can get Rattle On swag, early access to my videos, and so much more. That link is in the description below. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, I would sincerely appreciate it. Guys, as always, thanks for watching, and until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.